Hey guys, what's up? So, happy uh, Memorial Day weekend. And I thought I wanted to talk about uh, PCV systems, or positive crankcase ventilation systems, and how it uh, works with an aftermarket fuel injection system. So I'm currently running a 351 Windsor with uh, Holy HP. But this kind of applies for if you're running fast or mega squirt or something like that. I've actually used all those systems before, so, um, and how it applies. So this is actually a regular, typical spring-loaded uh, positive crankcase ventilation valve. You can hear it rattling in there. And this is a fixed orifice valve. So this is a constant flow no matter what state your engine's in. You know, if you're in part throttle, idle, wide open throttle, it stays the same no matter what. There's no moving parts inside. I mean, there should be a flame arrestor in there or a back, back pressure... Uh, not really called a diode, but it's a. If you have a backfire, it doesn't send fire back in your engine. Um, so this actually one has the same thing, and this is actually a variable. The difference between the two is uh, one is fixed and always sucking the same amount of air depending on your engine load, and this one is actually adjust and it's actually it, it, it's variable. So at, at uh, idle, it's very low speed. You know, you're not getting a lot of suction through your engine. And a part throttle opens up and a high, wide open throttle I think it closes, but part throttle opens up to evacuate the gases that's inside your engine here, internally. But um, um, this is not usually an issue with, uh, I guess if this video relates to tuning, trying to tune a car with one of these variable, you know, PCV valves in here, because it's, it's really difficult sometimes to tune these aftermarket fuel injection systems when you have a uncontrolled variable, like a spring-loaded uh, PCV. So, because these aftermarket systems are usually are MAP sensor-based, you know, having this uncontrolled variable makes it difficult to auto-learn or to create, you know, base tables. So, it's not usually a problem, you know, with the uh, factory fuel injection, because they already know the engine size, they have a base table, they already know exactly how the engine is going to operate. So they base it, they make a table, mass produce it, based around this, and not all cars actually even have PCV valves anymore, so it's, it's hit or miss. But uh, I just found out over throughout the years of you know, messing with the aftermarket fuel injection that it's a lot easier and more precise to have one of these, you know, to uh, create your, your, your fuel tables. Like I said, you don't have that variable thing in your map sensor, and like, you know, like I said, these, these things are all map-based, so that's my map sensor right there, but it's, you know, it's it, when you're messing with your map and, and your engine load vacuum, you know what I mean, it makes it way harder to create a table. So whereas most modern cars, you know, factory cars are a combination of like a, like a mass sensor, mass or mass sensor, up here, controlling air in, inlet. You know, it's usually a combination of the map sensor and the mass sensor, mass sensor controlling what, but that's how it knows where your, your engine is, your load. But uh, like I said, it, having this variable spring in there, which is not computer controlled, it makes it really difficult, you know, to create a, a precise table. Because these things actually operate differently under temperature too. So the way these things operate is, is it, it's, it's basically, it's an uncontrolled variable. So I'm actually an IT guy. I think in programming terms, like, you know, code and stuff, variables. So, um, all right, so, yeah, that's my take on it. And like I said, I've messed with a lot of different aftermarket EFI. I started with projection about 20 years ago, Holy Projection, and then I had messed with Mega Squirt and Fast, and now I'm running Holy HP. But it's been the same for all these things, all these map-based sensors, map-based uh, fuel injection, where it's, you know, with that, with that variable PV, PCV valve on there, it's, it's way more difficult to tune these things. So, also this thing actually will suck up less oil, too. So you're going to be actually consuming less oil with the smaller hole. Plus, I actually had I actually had an add a baffle to this valve cover. I didn't really originally had one. So, all right, guys. Hopefully that helps somebody. Um, yeah, I don't know if I even explained this well enough, but uh, all right, guys. Cool.